Hello guys, welcome to The Little Acre. I got a key from the developer for this game. It's an adventure game. It's fully voiced as far as I know. It will release today in about six hours. And it'll be available on PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. It's set in Ireland in 1950s. I think we play as a little boy, but beyond that, I don't know much. Let's jump right in. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom rock. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed would require a little ingenuity. So here we are. <laughs> Let's go for the boots. My boots are nearby, but I needed to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. So the trousers? Uh, where are those? This is the shirt. Oh, there they are. My trousers were just out of reach. <laughs> Get out of bed then. Uh, ah, we can scroll down here. Items, notes. I need to get dressed without waking Lily. So I take it the dog is. No, maybe this is Lily. Yeah. A little sister. Let's go for the shirt. Morning, Dougal. That's great. Dougal, you go fetch the pants. Hey, Dougal, give me that stick, boy. Not working. If I was to get that stick from Dougal, I had to time it just right. Okay, so maybe he needs to let go. There we go. So now I have a stick. And we'll get it to fetch the trousers. Fantastic. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Why not? Can we eat it? <laughs> no. Boots? Boots? Check. I couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still cooling it. Uh, have a sandwich, Lily? Wake her up and show her that I didn't eat the sandwich? <laughs> mm, stick? Even with the stick, I couldn't reach that far. Okay, poke her with the stick. I was trying to get her on my clothes without leaving my bed to avoid waking her, and throwing a stick at her was not going to help achieve that. Lily was a sprawl of limbs, and my sweater was pinned beneath her. I needed to find a way to roll her over without waking her. Mm. Maybe Dougal can do Dougal it. Dougal was good at fetching things. As long as the price was right. Ah, uh, we need to the sandwich maybe for the dog. Here you go, Dougal. <coughs> oh, that stinks. So now go over here and get the sweater. I couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still cooling it. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> maybe we can. I should be able to get the trajectory right. There we go. Well, we can grab it with the stick. I think. I had to wait until his mouth was open. All right. We'll try it when he opens his mouth. <laughs> what a clumsy dog. That was my cue to sneak out of there. All right, let's get out of here. We all dressed to impress. Whatever it needs impressing. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. 
Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. So we got all of these points pinging us. The clothesline. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Uh, the doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. I said into Arthur's room. <sighs> Dad, where are you? It's an interesting mask. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use though. <laughs> yeah, our dad's missing. Uh, we're looking for him. I read that much in the description page of the Steam store. Lily's bear. Lily left Sir Fuzzle Puff here a while ago with strict instructions to report her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Arthur's machine. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. Maybe water? <laughs> or a mask? <laughs> uh, let's try the water. Ah, that's empty. I've had better ideas. It looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. It's an ohm switch and a weight switch. And we need something to put in that slot and water to go in the funnel. We already have uh, this jug, I think, for the water. And what is this? Lots of buttons. Alright, let's head out. Let's see if we can find the stuff. There's a button here. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> Simple but practical. Boxes. It looked like he had rifled through his belongings in a hurry. Either that, or Lily had been searching for clues. Dad left his jacket behind. Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside. Or eating. Sit back out. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. Just go outside, get the lay of the land, maybe we can find some water. There's a little mouse. Let's check the litter box. Dear Aiden, thank you for your application for the position of repair clerk at Boyle & Sons. I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer you a position at this time. While I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering experience would be capable of the role, I should think you would be well suited to a more demanding occupation, perhaps at the new hydroelectric dam with your father. I wish you every success in your future endeavors. Uh, so we did not get a job. Strange light? Unemployment rates on rise, rumors abound regarding strange lights in the countryside. Might be uh, how our father disappeared. Oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. 
For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if I had anything to do in going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. So that's probably what we need to put in the slot in the machine. Doesn't look like we can do anything else out here. As a memorial. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. It was Anya's favorite place to have a picnic. Someone we lost, maybe our mother. As a tractor. My father had notions of turning to farming when he left his job. He never could leave signs behind. We can't hit this way. He did say something about bicycling to town. And there's a bicycle here. It's also a path to town. So let's just grab the bicycle. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport. And definitely didn't require any modifications. Despite what my father said. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. I don't think there's anything else out here. Let's head back in. So what's up, Dougal? I think you relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. Are we gonna hit this way? The house is bigger <laughs> than it seemed. Uh. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. So we're loading up on items. Some kind of transmitter. Looks like it's uh, wind powered. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Alright, you should be able to get some water over here. That looks like I will. There's also a stump. There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. Get out the jug. The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Well, it can't be too easy. <laughs> so, how are we going to do that? Maybe we can stand on it. I don't think that would have... I don't think that... Receiver, shed door, and shed. Let's take a look at the receiver here. The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. These sheep in background look pretty static. Let's <laughs> get in the shed. The was unlocked, but something was blocking on the other side. Dad converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd only spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering. But it had been days, and there was no sign of him. So let's try the handle. Maybe we'll open the door. There we go. Impromptu crowbar. It's a pitchfork. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. I 
I couldn't see a thing. And the idea of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things, made me nervous. I just pull the handle here. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. Doesn't look like we have any other points of interest in here. So we need to get the generator running. Can we do anything with the pitchfork and the broken pump? The pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle budge. Alright, let's give it a shot with the stump maybe. Yet another impressive feat of engineering. So now we have a hammer. Well, well, well. So now we have water for the machine, but uh, I think we also need electricity somehow. So we probably need to get the generator working. But let's go test it out. Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. Okay, so maybe four. Uh, I guess that's over here. There we go. We still need water. Let's just see what happens. There, that should keep it cool. So now what? <laughs> yeah, so let's see. We had four in weight, I think. But something happened at three. Strange symbols. The whole wall was covered in writing. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Maybe we can get a hint. The symbols on the wall were clearer with the blind down. Ah, okay. Can we actually? We can get a solution if you want. So you're not going to get stuck in this adventure game. But let's just wait. Maybe we can figure it out if you just take the blinds down. They're already down, it's because we already pushed this button down here. Clan FIFA, and then some kind of pattern. Dad had a habit of writing on whatever was nearest at the time. Apparently he found a way to make sure I didn't clean it. He must have wanted to remember that particular pattern, but what for? So maybe that's the buttons. So that would be free. And then free here, and the first one. There we go. Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. So let's head back out, see what happened. The machine was receiving power from within the house and was now transmitting something. So now that's turning as well. I don't think it was before, so maybe the light will work now. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any close to figuring out what happened to him, but it's the best lead I had. Sketches. There was a hand-drawn map on the wall with two locations marked. Our house and the hydroelectric dam, where Dad used to work. <laughs> we can't reach it, but we do have that uh, stool we can stand on, maybe. Well, not exactly what we were aiming for, but we got it anyway. The machine appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration, or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. Arthur's puzzle box. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I 
wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. So we'll step into the machine. The machine appeared to be waiting for something. There was a small keyhole in the back. But like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. I don't think that would have been So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do now. Let's just take a hint here. I needed something to scare Dougal with. We already have the mask, but I'm not sure why we're supposed to scare the dog. So let's try this. <laughs> that was kind of odd. Lily was fearless, even with the way she got out of bed. Let's give her the puzzle box. Uh, Lily, does when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? Right. Ah, she, she made some kind of dance there. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. It's gonna have to do it again. How did that dance go again? So hands up. Yeah. Uh, so I think she did this first. And then she did this, she sat down somehow. And then she pointed to the right. Uh, uh, what she do then? Did she stand on her head, maybe? The secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box there is a small key where the tasty treat should have been. So you got a key. That must be uh, for the machine out in the shed. So let's head back out. Let's get out the key. Looks about the right side. Hey! Ah, so now we're playing as Lily, I think. Yeah. Prep table. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Water? Check. Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty! <gasps> Okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place the pot over the fire. So I guess we place Lily now, and then we make it through the portal to the other world where both uh, the brother, Aiden, and the father went. But I think we'll leave off here, guys. The game will be out in a few hours. Pick it up if you think it looks interesting. It's available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. I think it's a well-crafted adventure game with fully voiced characters. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.